How to discuss postponing the wedding until fiancé is comfortable in her body. My fiancé and I started dating 2.5 years ago and she put on 40 pounds in the first year. This was fine because she blamed COVID and was fit for the previous 7-8 years. So I assumed she would get back in shape. Then I proposed to her, she got pregnant that day and now we have a 3-month-old. The 40 pounds she gained turned into 90 and she won't even look at pictures of herself. We vaguely talked about getting married this summer, but I feel like it will be a total waste of a ceremony as she refuses to even look at pictures of herself at this weight and I feel it will be much more special if she feels good in her body. Selfishly for me, but mostly for her. So how do I tell her I want to wait until she is comfortable in her body to do the wedding? Just ask her when she wants to have the wedding, does she want a photographer, etc. All the normal wedding planning questions. Talk about what is important to you. Do not mention her weight. My baby is almost 1.5, and I still have an extra 15 pounds because I'm still breastfeeding which makes me so hungry all the time. I know that weight won't be gone until baby is fully weaned. You cannot do this. She will hear it is, he won't marry me unless I lose weight. As a plus size woman, who's definitely gained weight no matter how lovely and well you mention this, it's going to hurt her feelings. It's going to need to be her that makes that call and can't be your idea initially as it could be received in a way you didn't intend. Be careful. My girlfriend, 21F, dumped me, 21M, because she fell in love with her 35-year-old boss. A few months have passed since she broke up with me, and lately we've been hanging out as friends. Today she confessed to me that while being together and since she got her new job she's been obsessed with her boss who's divorced and has two children, she asked me for advice to approach him. I'm so heartbroken and frustrated that she decided to abandon something that was so real to pursue a fantasy with someone who barely knows her name. I just wanted to vent, but might not have the best frame of mind right now, need some advice to help me through the heartache. First, I'm sorry you've dealt with this. It sucks. But you need to realize a couple things. First, if that's what it took to end your relationship, then your relationship wasn't real. Or to be more fair, if just wasn't right. Second, you're not friends, so you need to stop pretending you are. If nothing else, she literally just told you that she developed these feelings for a fantasy while you were together. This is someone you want to stay in contact with? You're torturing yourself. Cut ties and allow yourself to move on. Good luck. Stop hanging out with your ex. Cut her off and move on. First of all I am sorry, but you need to move and go and see for your own healing. Hang out with your friends and do things you enjoy on your own. If she comes back down the road don't take her back, remember this and how little it took for her to leave. You don't need to be friends and hang out. You need no contact. For you. Why do I hate my husband 5 months after baby? Okay, so we have been together almost 10 years now. We have two perfect amazing children. I love them with literally every fiber of myself. We struggled to have children so now that we do they are just so amazing. Anyways, my husband makes random comments about how he wishes our daughter was a boy, or how he never wanted a daughter but still loves her. Just has a different bond with our son. I get it. I do. I really had hoped we would have two boys but now that baby girl is here god do I love her. She is sweet and snuggly and uhg so perfect. My husband loves her too I know he does. I see him kiss her little toes and kiss her head and tell her he loves her but I know part of him still isn't thrilled. He also admitted to resenting me when I took a few months off of work to stay home with the kids. We both agreed on this, he didn't admit to resenting me until after I started picking up shifts at my work to keep myself licensed. We fight all the time. I get pissed at him when he says dumb shit to the kids or when he bitches that one of them is fussing. He gets home from work and plays Xbox till bedtime, he works 7-7. On his days off we can't do anything on his first day off cause he needs to unwind but we also can't do anything on his last day off cause he needs to relax before going to work. He has a weird schedule so some stretches are 3 days and others 2 days. Meaning that leaves every other weekend. He doesn't want me to take the kids places without him in case something happens. Like dangerous. We don't live in a high crime area but we do live in a high drug area. Like out in the woods meth heads but I'm not gonna go to the meth lab with my kids we would go to the park that is in a safe area. Tonight my son accidentally head butted me and I yelled out, ouch buddy. My husband snapped at me and told me, enough. I don't want to hear yelling. I told him he was a douche and walked away. Then when I came back out 20 minutes later he asked our baby, are you grumpy like mommy is? 
Like what the fuck I just got so annoyed. The worst part is every time I get fucking pissed I just think I want a damn divorce. I feel like it's like we fight half the time. I love my husband I really do. I just can't with the bullshit anymore. There are so many more things but I feel like I've just vomited my current frustrations. If you stuck around thanks, this is my first ever Reddit post. Maybe someone can talk me down or help me figure my shift out. IDK. He's very hateable. I think I might hate him. From what you describe, it's reasonable for you to want a break from your husband. I wouldn't want to be with someone who couldn't let go of the idea of having a boy, wasn't pulling their weight with family care, time, didn't want me to leave the house without them, and started pulling our kids into arguments. I think you need to have a real conversation about what an acceptable partnership looks like and see if he is on board for that. Maybe counseling would be helpful. But it's reasonable to want to leave with how things stand now. Either marriage consoling or a divorce lawyer. He sounds a bit controlling and things need to be his way or no way. He's an immature passive aggressive ass my your description so I get it. Look, I guess couples therapy is an option so you both learn to communicate together. But if he refuses to go or even he does but half asses it, then I think separation is valid. My girlfriend is a beautiful human inside and out but I am not having fun with her. We are both mid-30. Been together for a few months now, she is very kind, smart, beautiful, have the same values as me and she really loves me and I feel the same about her as well. Thing is I'm just not really enjoying spending time with her. Humor and laughing is a huge part of my life, my favorite memories with my past girlfriends is cracking up together, having lots of belly laughter, creating our own inner jokes, that kind of stuff is really high on the list for me. That is not happening with my current GF. We have a nice time together but she never say anything that makes me laugh and also I don't feel she gets my sense of humor, so I can't use it too much with her, so it all feels kind of dry in that area. We do have a strong emotional connection, but because the fun part is missing for me, it all feels too heavy. I am not excited about meeting with her and when we are together for more than a few hours I wait for it to end already. Is this a valid reason to end the relationship? Absolutely valid, I'm so sorry. I've been with my husband over 30 years and we still crack each other up daily. Even during some terrible times, it has been such a wonder. I couldn't live without that connection. If you are wanting to get away from her after a few hours you definitely need to move on. When I met my husband I was attracted to him physically and he is gorgeous but what had kept me with him for 25 years is the laughter. Every day we are laughing and joking and it just makes me love him even more. You're incompatible. Being compatible should be the only reason to be in a relationship. On the surface, any one thing might seem silly to an outsider or even you when considering everything else, but in the big picture, if you're unhappy, are you supposed to just deal with it? This is your life we're talking about. 